In January each year, Edinburgh honours the memory of Greyfriars Bobby, a wee dog who, for 14 years, lay faithfully by his master's grave each day, only to leave it when the one o'clock gun signalled that it was time to head off to find lunch. I will leave it to the Minister of Greyfriars and Edinburgh's Lord Provost to explain more of the story once the ceremony begins. We were welcomed into the churchyard by the bagpipe playing of Jennifer Hutchin and later on she will play her own composition of a new lament to Bobby. For many years Bobby was represented at these annual events by a dog called Blue but sadly he died last September and so this year Ruby stepped into the role. The Guard of Honour was provided by cadets from the neighbouring George Heriot's school. My name is uh, Richard Fraser, I'm the minister here at Greyfriars and it's my pleasure to, uh, as to where, start off these proceedings today and to say a few words of welcome to everyone who's here. There's a good, uh, there's a good turnout today and we've got some good weather, which is really nice. And in a little while some pupils from George Heriot's primary are going to be laying a wreath and we're very pleased also that the Lord Provost has graced us with his presence too. The story of Greyfriars Bobby is a, a story that is one of the things that charms everyone who visits this place. And we're told by the uh, people that do this kind of calculation that there's anything up to a quarter of a million people coming into this churchyard every year. That's an enormous number of people. And a great many of them are on a pilgrimage to this spot here. And it is a wonderful story. And some people question about whether it's true or not, or whose version is the correct one. But the reality is that it's a story about a very faithful little dog. And there's a lot of lessons that we can learn from that. Because as we all know, one of the things about Greyfriars Bobby was that although he was a faithful and loyal little dog, he was also someone whom other people wanted to get rid of. And at the time when, the, uh, when they were about to uh, issue dog licenses, there was a risk that Greyfriars Bobby might be destroyed. So it's a wonderful thing to be here. And I just better be careful that I'm not talking when the one o'clock gun goes off. Two minutes to go before the gunfire. Um, it is a story about loyalty and about love and therefore it's captured the hearts of millions of people all over the world. You've heard the numbers of people who uh, visit this particular site but the fact is that uh, in every country of the world uh, somebody talks about Greyfriars Bobby, everybody's heard of it, it has really captured people's hearts. For the 14 years that Bobby uh, came to the grave after uh, his master's death, um, it became quite a cause celebre in the country and lots of people came and visited, uh, including in Victoria, uh, so it was a very popular spot. They, I would say that uh, you've already heard about um, uh, Bobby was uh, uh, in great trouble at one point when they brought in 
uh, dog licenses and they were very expensive but I'm happy to say my predecessor, the Lord Provost at the time, uh, who actually saved Bobby by uh, offering to pay for uh, the license and also if you go to the exhibition of the Central Library I would suggest that you should do so if you're interested in the story uh, you will see I think the collar that the Lord Provost gave to uh, Bobby which is uh, displayed there so there's a huge link between the Lord Provost and Greyfriars Bobby so it's for that reason that I'm particularly pleased uh, to be here today so it's a significant annual celebration and in case people are wondering uh, there is a link with the one o'clock gun because it was the one o'clock gun that called Bobby to lunch, uh, so he went there every day. Uh, so that's why there's a big link to the one o'clock gun, big by Bobby. But I would be remiss if we not to also thank Ruby, uh, who's been brought here by the Edinburgh Cat and Dog Home. And um, Ruby uh, uh, shares a breed with the uh, great brother Bobby, but not the same gender as you may have noticed. Uh, Ruby is the same. Uh, however, I'm sure you'll agree that she's performed her duties exceptionally. So well done. Once the formal part of the ceremony was over, there were still photo opportunities to be had when the two Harriet's pupils who had laid the wreath did their very best to take charge of Ruby. <laughs>